Do you like the idea of learning how to get better headlines, to write better copy and get better interaction uh, on the posts that you put up on Facebook? It's all about copywriting. Today, we're going to talk about the five top tips for writing better headlines on your social media and Facebook. If you like that idea, then make sure you click like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that little bell that's going to tell you every time you receive a notification, every time we go live on YouTube. So let's get into this. There are actually 10 Facebook headline tips that we have. Today, we're gonna to give you five of those tips. Now, this is a free ebook that we wrote. If you don't have a copy of it, all you have to do is click on the link in the description below, and we'll send that copy directly to you. So let's get straight into this. And if you know as well as I do that the number one, or if you don't know this, you're going to know this, the number one skill that every copywriter, or sorry, every marketer, an online business person, or a, business, a person has an on, a business, online in any way shape or form that you need to learn is copywriting you either have to employ a copywriter or you have to be a good copywriter and so but to help you on that journey because employing a good copywriter sometimes can be quite uh, costly okay and so in it but it's an incredible investment that I highly recommend I am a copywriter we do do a lot of copywriting for our clients when we're creating websites sales funnels all of those kind of things so number one Here's the number one thing for you to do with your headline. Start using numbers. Put that number at the front. Just like I did with this video, five headline tips to get you more interaction. Five headline tips for, to use on Facebook. Five headline tips that are going to get you more sales. Uh, five ways, the number one way. Three ideas, three guaranteed solutions that work. You know, uh, you wanna put a number at the start of your headline, you'll get a much better result. Now, in our ebook, we give you some statistics around that as well. Number two, five words are best. Yes, I sometimes use more than five. I, it's hard to go to, 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 to just to follow the rules. Is anyone else out there a rule breaker? I bet you're a rule breaker. Anyway, I know I break the rules sometimes, but five words are best. No more than that. Don't go to seven, don't go to eight, don't go to nine five or less, okay? If you can find a powerful one word, then that is even going to uh, speak to a lot of people. There was a word that one person painted all over a city one time, that word was eternity. And that word got everybody thinking about what the word eternity. And it's the same thing. You know, you feel, find that one word that connects directly to what you're trying to do. People will, go, they'll catch, you'll grab their attention and they will react to it. So five words are best. And we'll give you an example in here of how that works. Number three, and this is one I can guarantee you're not using. I wanna know who are the fun people out there? Are you fun? Do you like fun? Well, here's the thing. One of the things you wanna understand is that a lot of people out there, if you're not a fun person, that's okay. You don't have to be fun. But if you wanna be a marketer, you gotta to cater to those people who wanna have fun. And one of those ways of doing that is an emoticon. So let's talk about emoticons for a moment. There are colors of an emoticon that you should use that will grab more attention, they'll stand out much bigger and get more people looking at your headline. You see, if your headline is just sitting there and it's got no color and it's not standing out, then people are just gonna look to the next thing. But as soon as there's a little bit of color, people react to that. So what is that color? It should be red. The number one color to use in your emoticon should be red. So that's why you see some marketers, they'll use the SOS. They'll use the siren, they'll use the stop sign, they'll use a red car. Why? Because red means stop. And in our mind, we've been trained since children, since babies, that when we see that red stop sign, that red light, we stop. So they stop to read your headline in your email, they'll stop to read your article, they'll stop to read your post that you put on social media. Use a red emoticon. Now here's the, here's the key. In our ebook, I'll tell you where to put it. Woof. Okay, number four. Yes, do I want you to get the ebook? Absolutely, I do. Am I ashamed to tell you to do that? No, I am not. Why? Because I want you to succeed. We care about you succeeding. That's what Rise Social Media, our company, is all about helping you to succeed and mar to market and sell your products online, to remove the overwhelm and get you successful. So number four, connect your headline with your image. You wanna connect your headline with your image. Most people make the big mistake, they get this great headline, they get a terrible image. So they get a terrible, a great image and a terrible headline. You wanna bring them together because when you bring them together, 
everything changes. That's what this is all about. Make sure you bring them together so that everything changes and you get the result that you're looking for. And we we'll give you examples of the way that should look as well. Number five. Whoa, this is a big one. It's called the fear of missing out and it looks like this. Create urgency in your headline. How do you do that? Okay, how do you do that? Now, the way that you can do that is by, for instance, if you've got a um, an offer that's about to expire, the headline might read uh, t uh, time uh, 29 minutes left. Okay, it could be uh, three left, to, uh, uh, only three left, limited stock, uh, buy, net, buy before they're gone. Create that urgency, time sensitive, massive, in, t in a bracket on one side, the words time sensitive. And even then if you use that red emoticon clock, whoa, you're going to have a mind blowing experience. Just think about that, mind blowing. Okay, just from putting, okay, uh, just creating that urgency and putting that emoticon at the front. They're just five of the 10 tips that we're giving you. If you start putting those in your social media ads, in your, in your Facebook ads, in fact, when you put them into your ad copy, wow, you know, you're looking 10 to 15 and up to 20% better results when you're doing things like that. I promise you, just go ahead and give it a go. Now, if you have not, as I said, have you have not got your copy of the 10 uh, Facebook headline tips guaranteed to get you more interaction? Yes, that is over the five. I am a rule breaker. I did say that. Um, then you have got to go grab it now. You know, the headline of this could should be Want more leads? <laughs> want to be a better copywriter? Hey, if you're watching this and you want to give us a suggestion for this book, put it in the comments. We're happy for comments. We love comments. Put a comment down. Just don't do a stupid one, okay? And no, no swearing or any of that sort of stuff. Anyway, my name is James Hannon from Rise Social Media, where we are helping you market and sell your products online. Again, if you enjoyed what the, you heard and you like the idea of learning how to market and sell online, Click the subscribe button, hit the like button on this video, and hit that little bell that's gonna give you a notification every time we produce a brand new video that's going to help you market and sell online. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.